Good evening, fellow Korean's and maybe Korean's to be. My name is Lotie, and I come from Flyboard Company. And for those who has difficult to remember the Chinese name, uh, you can call me Robert. Uh, that's a tip for for you. And tonight I'm going to share you some our own story of searching a solution for our own problem. So uh, basically, you maybe already read the the introduction. That uh, it's uh, it's about uh, peer crust. But uh, at first, I want to uh, maybe first introduce my problem because uh, we uh, as programmers we are looking for some new technology is uh, basically we want to solve our problems so uh, our problem uh, is uh, is that we are we providing we are providing uh, online gaming services and we have uh, lots of of gamers most of them are in china and we got tons of gaming events uh, maybe uh, a few millions, uh, maybe uh, maybe several hundred millions every day. So uh, it's uh, from the early days that we we just uh, store these events as log files. But we everybody knows that uh, there are deep knowledge inside, and sometimes we want to use uh, the data inside. So uh, it's uh, that's our problem is trying to figure out how to uh, dig the value from that data. Maybe uh, for some data an analysis, or sometimes we even want to generate some new events from that kind of data. Uh, for example, we are uh, events uh, including like from the when a new user registering, uh, we got the event that uh, saying that the type of user register. And when every time, whenever uh, a gamer uh, log on to our uh, gaming services and log off, and maybe even uh, they uh, disconnected from the network, we uh, got another event. Maybe uh, you can you can know. Uh, we, sometimes we we want to know how long uh, uh, gamers stayed on our platform. We uh, sometimes we want to to figure out or guess what's the main reason they, they leave, or if they uh, sometimes they have a problem on their network, or something like that. And uh, on our because our gaming is most mostly is about uh, cards and mahjong, so that's another big category of uh, gaming events. That's uh, gaming uh, for for game itself. Maybe we want to know. Uh, what 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 kind of card uh, you the, the gamer played, and why do they play that? And maybe we we uh, sometimes we are just uh, curious about uh, what is the best strategy for a game. Maybe uh, if we are uh, kind of to, to to want to develop some some system like uh, AlphaGo, if for example. But uh, this problem uh, is uh, I think it's not so unique. But uh, it's very important for us. We uh, we we can uh, have run our system without using the value of this this kind of events. But we we want to explore it. So uh, we we keep on searching solutions for that. And we uh, the first take. We 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 want to tackle this this problem. As we 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 tried the uh, ELK stack. That's uh, elastic. Uh, with uh, log stash and uh, with Kibana. We uh, feed our uh, log data. Most of them, them are just uh, logged by uh, some log4j uh, adapters. And we feed them to log stash. Then uh, we s store them into uh, the Elastic search backend. Then uh, we are using the, the Kibana as a dashboard to sh show the result. result. It's uh, it's working, it, and it's uh, still working now. Uh, it ha these uh, kind of solutions, just like I s just said, uh, we uh, we uh, for the log stash we because our logging 
data is just plain lines, plain text. So we need to parse it into uh, some real meaningful event. So uh, we, 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 use, uh, we write some scripts uh, on uh, log stash end to, to parse the data. And basically, Elasticsearch is trying to search some specific events in the a huge events database. And but uh, for uh, maybe if you can remember that last last page that I said, uh, we sometimes we need aggregate the data. Most of the time, actually, we want to find the, the patterns of the user behavior. Then uh, we need to aggregate the data. And we did it uh, to, we wrote many, many uh, programs, uh, most, of it, most of them also in, uh, in Clojure, to, uh, to trying to, to aggregate that data. And we were using the, 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 the Kibana to, to present the result. This setup has some pros, of course. Because uh, the f first thing uh, we, we like it, and uh, we ac actually the, it's the first reason we choose it is uh, is uh, Kibana itself, the, the dashboard. We can easily create many new dashboards, especially for the decision makers. They like it. They, 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 can, they can say, uh, I, I just uh, ask somebody to, to, to add some new dashboard onto that. Then I can uh, have more new, no, new insight of our data. But uh, of course, behind the scenes, it's not so simple. And we uh, like the, the documents. Documentation of, of the ELK is very good. And also, uh, they have a very good uh, track record. So that, that's another reason for that. And uh, we, uh, it's already widely used. That's why we, we, we chose it. And we, we still, uh, just uh, like I, I said, we are still using it. But we uh, cannot stop the, the search because that uh, solution has so many cons. The first thing is uh, the, the performance. It's, uh, I cannot say the performance is uh, bound into that solution, but uh, it's bound to our whole framework. Uh, sorry? How many events you have? Sorry? How many events you have? Maybe uh, I think uh, a few hundred of uh, hundred meetings every day. Uh, roughly in in data size, roughly thirty or forty gigabytes every day. And is the issue with the speed uh, concerning uh, log stash engine or just Kibana visualization? Uh, actually, uh, it's uh, in the uh, back end. The the log stash was. Mm. Maybe we have some some issues. The first thing is uh, because we, like, like like I just said, we do not want to rewrite all our software, and and our gaming services are already written, and they we do not to rewrite them all. So they, they just log their event into files files. That's uh, then then we we pass it and shape to log stash. The first pain point for us is. Uh, it's a pass itself, because uh, it's, uh, data is so, so, so huge, and we, we cannot distribute it very well. So the, the, the pass of data itself sometimes need maybe one or, two, one or sometimes need four hours to, to one, one hour, at least one hour, to send the, the daily data into the, the, the back end. That's, uh, that's one, one of our pain points. And uh, also, the major problem is, uh, is the aggregation. Because uh, I think the electric search, basically it's a search engine. It's not something designed for, uh, for aggregation. So uh, we, we actually, uh, we must keep on going, going, and going. There's the, the index has no use for, for aggregation, right? So that's, uh, that, that's, that's something really hurt us. And uh, in the previous, I think maybe last year, the system is so unstable, 
most of time we we need to rest, restart it uh, maybe maybe uh, twice in every week. That's uh, that's uh, that's our problem. And another problem is uh, it's very quite difficult to to set up and maintain. I think the, the documentation helps a lot, but because like I said, the the company itself it's not a technical company. We don't do not want to use most of uh, programmers' time on s such huge, deep techno te technical things. We want to use their time on our business values. So uh, to set up and maintain this system also is a pain. And the last thing is uh, th this solution is not inflexible. We, uh, we, we need to know <coughs> Uh, every every piece of the, the shape of every piece of the data. Uh, if we uh, happen to to change something in inside, then we have to have to in re-index the whole DB. Uh, that's actually prohibited us to do some exploration. That's that's uh, this this solution's problem. So we keep on searching, and then uh, I found something. It's uh, Onyx. So maybe most some of you also heard it from uh, maybe Lucas. And Onyx itself, it's uh, it is written in Clojure. So uh, that's why we we found it. And the first reason we we like it, it's it's by, it's written by Clojure. And its uh, primary first concern is uh, audience is is to closures, and that's that's why we, we like it at first. And we know it's uh, in the basic designing, it's real stream processing. It's not like some Kibana. It's uh, it's like uh, Elasticsearch. It's a search engine. We we try to use misuse it actually. And we know it's. Uh, can be very performant, but this uh, solution also has uh, some deeply cons that uh, it's we still need to maintain it, it by ourselves. And because it's uh, relative so young, compares to uh, ELK stack, then uh, we, we we tried it, but uh, we do not use it in our production. And uh, most mostly it's because of these kind of things, and we do not have uh, many experts on, on this of this to set up uh, the whole cluster to uh, maintain its uh, its work. It's quite quite difficult for us. That's why we uh, after we heard that from uh, Lucas and Michael that they uh, set up a, a new startup. To try to provide uh, the pro stream processing in services, and they call it Paraclast. That's why we we uh, are so interested, and we became their uh, f first uh, users. So, uh, I just see a lot of and understand why. Uh, on one hand, you're talking of stream processing; on the other hand, you previously used Elasticsearch because that's more search oriented whereas uh, Onyx is more stream processing. So why is there a need for search when most of what you're doing is stream processing? Okay, so the, the, the question was uh, why do we uh, uh, compare s from so different solutions? One is search engine and one is uh, uh, stream processing. That's a very good question. Actually, our major concern is processing the data itself. Sometimes we need to search, but uh, as I maybe I, I didn't make it very very clear before, that we actually we know the ELK system is not designed for our problems. So that's why uh, we keep on searching that. We, our major concern is uh, is to process the data, and we want it to be uh, real time. So does it mean that uh, you use the search as a database 
for ad hoc kind of queries or do you know what you want to query and you just prepare the data? And uh, okay, so the question was, uh, do, do we need to use the, the, the backend uh, database as our database? We, we need to, to search some specific data on, on, the, on it, maybe to provide to our end users. The, the, the answer is uh, no. We got uh, some uh, relational database, uh, just, just like other systems. So we just uh, duplicate all these kind of facts, you know, the, 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 the data in our relational database is just snapshot shot of the current time. It's uh, likewise, uh, I, I, if I'm a gamer, I uh, registered in, into, that, uh, into the, the service and we, I played several games uh, each day. That, that means I generate many events on every uh, game round I, I played. But uh, the, the, there's just one record in, on our, in our database. That's uh, the base, basic design. We, we got the database, so that's why we, uh, we, we want, want, want to know what happened before. Uh, and uh, pair, pair cluster is, uh, right now, it's, uh, it's a stream processing as a service. So uh, it's uh, still in, uh, in beta. So we got some first hand experience on that, like I just said, we are their, their first user, and we are do not fully committed into it, into that yet. We are doing some really real things and production in production on, onto that, but we are still at using our uh, ELK system at, at the same time right now. What we what do we like it? The first thing, of course, is. Uh, somebody else are maintaining that system for us. And we know they're experts, that's, that's the, the first reason that we, we chose it. And so uh, it's our burden to, to, for that. The second thing is uh, it's really fast. And because it's real, I think it's scale, scale really horizontally. So uh, compares to our before our, our solutions, most of uh, there are many bottlenecks that we, we cannot distribute the maybe the parts or some aggregate into into uh, several systems as in, in parallel. But uh, by uh, pair cluster, it's really fast. Later, I maybe I can show you the, the some some number. And uh, it's uh, very sc scalable. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, that's uh, not our concern <laughs> because we have somebody else to, to maintain for us. I think maybe uh, if it's uh, performance not, not so good, it's their, their uh, responsibility to, to buy some new hardware or something. And of course, at last, uh, because we are so loving, in love in enclosure, so we, we like it to written enclosure and the primary audience is for closure. And of course, uh, it's because it's, uh, it's a commercial version actually, commercial problem uh, uh, platform based on Onyx. And if you uh, read the Onyx uh, documentation, you know that it's, uh, I think, think it's a very good example of uh, closure's uh, design. That is uh, it's wholly based on data. So there's almost very little API. So you know that uh, that kind of if you can keep your data in that in the shape, and they can keep the, the API quite stable. And of course there are some more. And I I won't, maybe I can show you in some small demo to show some what what I mean to what means the more. Okay. This this is a pair class at this time, and basically it's quite simple. Just like you you you, you see, it's uh, basically they, they have just two concepts. One is topic, and one is service. 
uh, the topic is uh, just just something we we we, we send and uh, we something we, we want to consume. Both of them are topics. Uh, in uh, the pair class, there's no difference between that between them. Uh, I can show you s maybe uh, like this. I just clicked uh, this 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 uh, topic. Okay, this is our uh, is our source topic. That means we will pu push all our events onto this topic. Uh, not not all actually. We just p push one kind of our topic event into onto that. Uh, th this one is uh, is scores. It, in uh, on our uh, Gaming platform. Whenever uh, the gamer finished a game, there are these, the system trying to calculate the score. This uh, score event. So we fit all our score event onto this topic, right? And push itself onto the to push the the the, the, the data onto onto, onto this uh, is very very simple. Uh, at its this web page is self-explanatory. That they have uh, all kinds of uh, way. <laughs> not not every not everything is uh, is really like the the Python version. <laughs> Just fake. But uh, for uh, JavaScript, for Clojure, uh, of course, and for uh, of course like the, like that, HTTP IE. Uh, I can. Uh, it's real, already there, and you can. Of course, you can use uh, this uh, command line things to to try your topic. And for us, we are using the, this uh, fire plume. Uh, actually, we are not. It's uh, this fire plume. It's it's just a, a very thin wrapper of uh, fire beater. It's uh, it, it's just a, a log stash tool to ship your 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 events to other end, and uh, it's very very simple. So we use uh, the file beater to ship to send our uh, uh, logs. Just like like I said, we our events is just in, in as in log. Actually, we save it in uh, in the log file. And the file beater, they uh, monitor the every log file, and then uh, they uh, feed all the new data onto this this one. And uh, the little tool of file beater is uh, smart enough that they, they know where their their current location. And if some something go wrong or because uh, like a network interrupted, they can continue once it's the, the problem go gone. That's uh, that's the thing we we want to send it. So. Uh, it's nothing, nothing special of this uh, incoming things, and you can, uh, you, if you use this interface, you can just uh, use the configuration file that they already wrote it for you. Like for, uh, for instance, uh, in this uh, closures, you you can just copy and paste this kind of code into your own file, and of course this this. Uh, in this topic, we I already got some data here. All right, that that's our data. Because this data is is fed using file beater, file beater already wraps our event. I just like I said, our events is just pure text. This uh, file beater already wraps this into JSON, but uh, it's 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 just. Uh, Illusion. It's the real real data is here. It's something quite ugly. <laughs> All right, uh, and you can see the the, the time. It's uh, actually is 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 now. So the data is still keep on sending uh, to this topic. And uh, to make it, it clear, I will click this new topic. Button. That's that's very easy. That you can uh, create a new topic on uh, peer class. Like uh, if I uh, 
can choose how many the size of this this, uh, this one and uh, how many days you want to retaining and that, that's it very easy for a source uh, topic that things all right so uh, you can uh, you can let let this uh, check up our real data now we got uh, ah, here's some data numbers here we got uh, 232 meetings of events here in uh, from uh, uh, April 28th so uh, that's one one of our uh, kind of data we were concerned <laughs> and uh, the topic itself is not so interesting so uh, it's a service to make it useful. The first thing, first thing we, we want to, to, to do for this kind of data, for th this kind of data is uh, we, try we try to parse them of, of self, uh, of course, to, pa to parse it. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's te text, but it's not very useful. So I am trying to sh show you here how can I uh, make a service to to pass this data. Okay, it's quite. Uh, I think in uh, data warehouse uh, terminology, it's uh, it's called ETL. Uh, we want to extract data from from the, the event. Okay, so let me uh, uh, maybe I name this new service demo pass. Okay, it's a data pipeline, <coughs> and uh, quite simple. And I chose my my topic. I'm, I'm my topic is uh, raw data, and why maybe I need some sample data to to make it easier. I already prepared some sample data on my desktop. Uh, there are open tickets on a pair, pair class that they can sample the real topic, uh, but this, is not cl cl uh, this ticket is not uh, implemented yet. So uh, I just uh, using this, this uh, sample data just have five, uh, five records. All right, then I chose a, a task. Maybe for this kind of uh, that I need just uh, maybe using a regex. All right, I need to uh, to. Oh, sorry, the, the data is not 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 for this raw data. Maybe I need to, I need to to copy that from. Okay, I uh, maybe I need to copy this uh, from from real one. All right, all right. Maybe I just copy copy this one single event. Okay, it's a. Uh, I think I sh hope it's uh, clear. So uh, basically, our in interested data is in uh, messages. Message. So I input message here in source key, and you can see uh, once I uh, get this information to Paracast, it it shows uh, the, this step, the result of this step, instantly. Maybe I want to extract the data into uh, groups, then uh, what I need is, uh, is to write some regex uh, to do that. Then uh, the first, first thing uh, about uh, this uh, message is you can, you can see it's, uh, it's a data, it's date. Okay, I just do, do it stupid, naively, okay. So uh, as I type, you can see the, the result 
uh, showing instantly. So uh, as a, I'm not an expert of regex. I don't like it actually. <laughs> I always pain to to remember everything. But this this is really neat for for some, some someone like me. So I if I did something wrong, I can know it right now. Okay, right now I, I already got the date, and maybe the time. It's. Uh, uh, Okay, you can see the, the groups already contains the, the time. But I, I need multiple groups uh, inside this, this information. So I, I just uh, using a group to... to then uh, I need to extract this, this, this debug and the, the name of service. I have no interest. Maybe I just interest the, the, returns, the return value. It's uh, returns. Maybe I just one. Uh, uh, something wrong? Okay, not should shouldn't be. Oh, sorry. I should provide something. <laughs> All right, returns. Okay, quite simple, right? I uh, now I get two two things interesting here. One is uh, the the time itself, and one is uh, the, the the data. All right, then now. Uh, Maybe I need another step. I uh, don't do not want this uh, this kind of information just inside groups. So I maybe I just move the the first group. Into uh, something meaningful. Okay, I uh, just just like I said, this name is this this step names move actually is a copy, Co copy the, the 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 this one into event time, and uh, for uh, if you uh, check this uh, this result the gaming results. Uh, you you will see it's uh, it's not just one. Event actually, because uh, this this kind of game they they are involved between three players. So this is the first player, this is the second player, and this is the, the third player. So I maybe I I need to do another step to to make this. Uh, uh, let me. Just Regex, another regex maybe. Uh, this this time I need the regex. Uh, sorry, just delete this step. I need matches, and I need the source key should be groups two. And I need to be uh, maybe I name it score groups. And uh, the username itself, it should be just just this, and it's uh, the next uh, number is uh, how many virtue coins do you have? All right, it's. Uh, I, I hope you can uh, already can understand this, this kind of. Uh, then I don't do not 
to let you go through all the all kind of things. The the major point here is uh, is something real medic thing is uh, is is simulator. That's uh, that's I think is uh, most cool thing about Paraclass. Sorry. I wonder why do you use this text in groups and in message instead of giving a JSON as output that you can parse and internalize? Uh, I'm sorry. Why do you use the, the matching on the plain text with regexes uh -huh. uh, instead of making some kind of JSON representation there? Ah, uh, that's uh, because we we do not want to to modify our uh, our your, old, your system. Yes, had yes. Previously, had, had we have a running systems, right, right, right. So legacy systems. Already, uh, everyone had these kind of problems. Uh, you, I, I know your mean. So the problem is uh, the question was that that uh, we should should have made these uh, kind of uh, events organized at the first place, not to pass it. It's uh, just a waste of comp computation power. I agree with you, with you. but we uh, do not have the luxury to do that. Uh, yes, but you just told that you can, when you stream the events from the log, mm -hmm. then you can add the, some kind of pre-processing ETL there right. that will automatically split this text into some data structure. Uh, right. Why don't you do this? Right, I actually... We uh, have a similar system and we use the other approach and I wonder, why would you not do it? So the, the, the question was, uh, uh, we, uh, why, why would we uh, not using a professor, professor, professor uh, before sending these kind of events to, to the, the you data? You can do it actually inside Logstash or inside Rogue Yes. Rast, yeah? uh, because you, you shown us that you can do right. these uh, dynamic joints and the streaming ETL. So I suppose this is the same mechanism. We, we, we use Logstash for this. Okay. I, I suppose that uh, ProGlass is better. Okay. The 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 the, the question was uh, why why do we not uh, pass it yeah. in the on the front end before sending to that kind of platform, before and we and uh, log log uh, like Logstash already has that functionality. Yeah. Uh, I s actually we uh, we did it in our uh, ELK stack actually, we we already r r wrote many little script to, to, ex to pass this kind of information. But uh, I, we want to do that this because pair class, because pass it's itself, uh, sorry, no way. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> so it's a lot of power. <laughs> I still got enough power. So we want to, to, to do that because the pass itself requires many uh, computation power. And like I just said, we uh, s this kind of parts uh, require many uh, dedicated s systems to do that, and so we want to uh, treat it. We 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 think the the network width is bandwidth is more cheap is cheaper, and we want we we want to send it here, and here we can use the pair cluster power to pass it very quickly. Uh, I uh, previously I mentioned a number that so we uh, sometimes we need to if we pass it uh, batch batchly uh, for a, uh, one day's uh, uh, data we need maybe one or two hour to pass it and if we p pass it in real time we think it's, we still have some performance problem here and we we, we cannot do it uh, on our uh, gaming server. It's too risky for us because our gaming server is already very busy. So uh, I think we think easier to just send all this uh, raw data to pure class, and we got many power here to do all the parts here. There. Does it make sense? Um, we we choose a different solutions, I think, because of uh, different kind of data. I understand that here your priority is to generate this data as quickly as possible and leave the generation of the data untouched and possibly that's the, the reason for the difference because we were concentrated on, on analytics. Okay, and, of course. And our data may be a little bit more complex. Uh, of course. Of okay. I, that's, I, like I just said, uh, I want to just share our, my, uh, our story yeah, here because we are, we are not expert uh, of data analysis. That's uh, that's something we we think is uh, easier to do here, 
and also because because of one reason to we, why we do do <coughs> here, because of this uh, so neatly simulator, I, we feel very productive here. Uh, like s for something where there's no complex logics there, we just want to to push it step by step. So uh, that's why <laughs> we think it's very easy to do here. Then I can show you the. Uh, maybe my uh, real service definition. Okay, this this one is my uh, it's a real real thing. It's uh, just uh, several steps after I just showed. We uh, got messages, uh, regex match, and we. Uh, do something uh, like something move like like I just described, and uh, another regex match, and uh, uh, many moves, and desoc to to make make it disappear. Uh, maybe I, ca I can also okay. Uh, I <laughs> just passed this that that uh, events onto this real one. Then I can can s see. In, at real time, that's the result of every step. Uh, so uh, that's quite easy, and <laughs> actually, it's not no no need for a debugger. And uh, you, you can see we 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 make it uh, the larger every uh, events larger by uh, extract some uh, piece of data in. in from it, then uh, we uh, at last we desoc desoc the unused data from the to make to make, make the data smaller, and we uh, then uh, we uh, turn uh, it's uh, the date time from string to 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 epoch time, and the pass values f for. Uh, for some like this text, it uh, should be number number, something like that. And 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 the last thing is we uh, we want to output because uh, it, ETL we want to, to send it to other other place. So we, I send to another topic, that's uh, pass score log topic. I think it's uh, quite simple. If I have any questions, please ask. Do you have a question? So does Spark class only support linear flow or does it support something like a graph? So can you actually chain services together to form uh, like, you know, um, separate flows and things like that? Okay, so the, the question was, uh, this, this looks just a linear uh, process uh, model. Is there, there are any uh, concepts that uh, can su uh, support many a more complex, uh, like graph or something, like conditioning, yes. to 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 branch. Uh, the answer is no. Actually, uh, as a first version, uh, pre pre beta version of pair class, uh, this uh, platform got a quite complex uh, graph editor for uh, constructing this kind of pipeline. But later, they uh, decide to remove it, and. Uh, Use a simpler one, because the reason I think is, uh, of course, the first reason is try to make it really easy for uh, end user, and the second reason because uh, I think because this this thing is uh, you can reuse this topic because it's a topic, so you, you if you need another uh, say another kind of uh, processing model, you can you can you can just uh, use it as a middle topic. Okay, you can just send some some data there, and you can do different things onto another things. Uh, of course, this kind of uh, things m means that you need uh, maybe a better interface to show the the, the relationship of uh, different services, different uh, pipelines. Uh, I think the pair class guys is still working on that. Uh, right now, I think this is is uh, in, in enough uh, at at least for us. And uh, I, I, must, I must admit that our job for this kind of thing is so simple. All right. 
But uh, then I, I store this uh, past score log onto, on, in, on that topic. And uh, actually, we got another, uh, just like I said, we got other services. Actually, we may make it a, like something like a graph. <laughs> like we uh, have another thing, so it's uh, make player book. And these uh, services, service, read from past score log, the output of previous one. Uh, it's not very convenient sometimes. And, uh, but now we feel it's, uh, it's doable, and it's OK for us. And uh, that, that's uh, another. So uh, at least, uh, actually, they are chained together, actually. Uh, maybe you just uh, already noticed that uh, these services are not running right now. The topic is, is there. But uh, the service is not running. So that, that means this uh, log pass service, they are not emits any uh, uh, records now. So uh, actually, but uh, to make it really work, it's very easy. I, uh, I can just click this deploy deployment button. And I can uh, just uh, click this upgrade button. And I can update it. That means we, uh, I requ request uh, the, the peer class online system. They uh, put my uh, services into work. And you can see uh, after I. Uh, I click that button. Something really work here. This is uh, the deployment, the real thing. And you can see the some number here. It's uh, how many records it's uh, processed uh, every second. <coughs> and you got uh, ev at every step, you, you, can, you can check its standards. And here, this, this uh, triangle here means if there's an uh, exception there. And if there are, we, we, can, we can see it instantly. Is that it? And uh, for this, this kind of simple pass, it's uh, quite, quite useful, usable for, for us because uh, more than 13,000 uh, records every second. And uh, as far as I know, uh, the platform has more potential to, to do that because we, we do not require more computation power for, the, for this. It's because it's enough for us. Uh, that's it. So uh, that's the base, basic ETL flow of pair class. All right. Uh, the, actually, the, before I don't do, do not know there's there are something means uh, like simulator in the pair class. Uh, maybe as or before like the other solutions, we, we need to write uh, pro program. Uh, I think the traditional workflow is uh, trying to to write some programs on, on your own computer. Then uh, you try to uh, test it. Then uh, you uh, pack it into a, a, maybe a jar or something. You upload to, to your, your cluster, then uh, it's running there. I, uh, I tried tried one or two times uh, before, but uh, it's uh, if I sometimes I find problems after I deploy my uh, my work. It's uh, that kind of workflow is very slow. Uh, it was very slow for, for me. Uh, I don't know if there's a more advanced workflow for, for that, but for a uh, pair class, the simulator is really nice. And I, I asked Michael Togales uh, for how do, how do you do that? They said, because uh, thanks for closure and closure scripts. Actually, the, uh, the, the simulator, it's, you, you, you said it's, uh, it's a real uh, Onyx engine inside. Because they are uh, using CLJC the, to, to write the, the engine itself. So it's uh, it's a real engine inside your, your browser. 
So that's why we, we can see the results so, so quickly. And I think that also means maybe we, we can do it offline if we, if we, we chose to. Uh, and uh, the, I also the, the said the, there's sometimes there are some difficulty to, to make sure the, the two different systems works uh, uh, identically, identically. For example, uh, the regex actually on uh, JavaScript and in Java is not identical <laughs> one. So uh, I, uh, we, we encountered some, some problems uh, about that. But uh, it's uh, solvable, and most of them are already solved, I think, uh, in this, this kind of things. I, I, I think the, the idea of uh, simulation is, is very nice. And it's uh, boosted our uh, production. That's why, we, uh, that's why we want to do everything here. <laughs> because if we find something, something wrong, we can easily do change there. Sorry? So before you had Kibana for visualizations, right? Uh -huh. But what do you use now when you use Pyroplast? We already have something for doing visualizations. Okay. Uh, so the question was, uh, we uh, how do we visualize our data right now, uh, compares to uh, previous solution of Kibana? Okay. Uh, we are actually uh, in uh, Claudio West's uh, Michael Togolis uh, presentation. He uh, showed some really nice charts. Uh, I, I, maybe I can show you who says this uh, this little video clip. Okay. Okay, so this is Pyroblast. Uh, uh, okay, I can see uh, one. Uh, and what's nice is that I can. He's also, yeah, so he I was also showing the, the simulator. The data into, uh, and uh, show of hands, how many people are familiar? We don't actually get access to this. You, you uh, data flow visualization. Okay, okay. Uh, and then uh, I, that's uh, make me lazy. <laughs> I can let uh, Michael. To, to show that. Show me what the actual backing data is as a visualization, because that's a lot easier to understand than just the raw text. Um, so still, that's that's not terribly interesting. Okay, I will let, let, let him to explain that for several minutes. <laughs> Sorry, I need to, to grab another bottle of water. <laughs> that, oh, that text is terrible. Um, these, these 
time bounds are exactly three minutes apart. So it's saying within this three minute interval, this number of points are scored. And automatically. Okay, I, I, I hope this uh, is part of uh, the question. Uh, we, uh, the, uh, I think the, the, the pair class still not have a real answer for that. Uh, so this feature is experimental, it's not live yet? It uh, yes, it's uh, experimental. I, I think the, uh, later I think there should be something like that. But uh, right now I, I do not think it's a priority of pair class. So for us, uh, that's, that's one of the reasons that we're still not using it for in production yet. Because we, we or also want something like that, and we are uh, in our flyboard company. We are developing something for uh, that dashboard right now. All right, so uh, I think the so uh, just like I just sh showed show that the it's uh, it's a secret of. Uh, Pair class is uh, closure and closure script in interaction. It's uh, very nice. Uh, also, I we use it in our other projects to try to leverage the, this uh, huge benefit. And uh, besides the ETL, that's another thing. It's uh, aggregation. I just show, showed you the, the aggregation of, of the Michael Dogalist to um, in his uh, presentation. And I can uh, also using the, the real p pair class to to show you show you some something like this. Uh, I I did it before I come here. I wrote a very s small aggregation. Maybe I can, can do it again here to 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 make it clear that uh, the. Okay, say I want to aggregate uh, some of my data. Say I already got the the, the player's uh, score in uh, another topic called the player playbook that that contains every player's uh, game uh, score report. Then I uh, well, maybe I have a question to, to want to ask. S for every user, they uh, how much did they uh, lose or win in one day? So uh, that's a typical question for us. So I make another service. Its uh, name is uh, this kind of materialized view for that kind of things. Right? Then I choose uh, the player book as, a, as a, my source. And I can uh, use uh, something here. That's uh, my sample data. Then uh, I say I don't just want to know why, one kind of uh, my game. I will have different game type here. So say I want to filter it first. I want to uh, something we want just Starting with string, starting with uh, the game type, only these kind of uh, games we are interesting. So, so, so that we previous we got five events here, and after uh, filter, I got two. Then. Uh, Maybe I need to aggregate that. I uh, just name this aggregation as uh, oh, sorry. Hey, sorry. Hey. There's maybe something was wrong. Something wrong with my. Uh, I use a fixed window here. Fixed window, woof, woof, because by. Uh, I would just want to do the daily things. So I just sum their uh, delta. And the window key is uh, event time. You can 
That means uh, I need to sum my users. Uh, delta delta is uh, the, the the change of the the score itself. So the the window the time window is one day, right? And group by username. That's it. Nice and easy. I save it. Try to ac activate this uh, development. Wow. Oh, something wrong here. <laughs> Exception. Many, many exceptions. It's like separate exception for each of the processed records. Uh, I, I'm not sure which kind of, but uh, we can we can sh we can check if the the aggregation already got some data here. Let me uh, using this cur. <laughs> you see. So the, there there are some some exceptions there, but the, because I think the, that because some uh, kind of events are not uh, supposed to be we we we, we like to see, but other right uh, events is still running there. All right. So I really hope we got a dynamic. Dynamic window there. I can show the, how the data change in real time, but you can you can you can see that this this is uh, just like another web services service that uh, for every deployment we create a web service. So uh, there are here is uh, is uh, the command line to to show that. This is really difficult to to know. I, I want to 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 check. To change it to, to, to something easier to So HTTP IE, I think, is a, can print print out better <laughs> better formatted uh, JSON data for, for that. So uh, so the, the, the you can see this is uh, for the, this username, and uh, this is uh, the time start and end. For, uh, I think it's for one day. I, I don't know what what day is it. Should and it's, uh, that's that's a result. I answered my my question, and but uh, maybe we we need to go back to 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 solve that uh, that exceptions there. So I cl click this uh, this again, and uh, by by checking the deployment, and let us check this this kind of null point exception. There's a calling stack there. We we'll see that uh, the game type is now. For some some events, so uh, that's why we we, we got these uh, exceptions. So maybe we can uh, insert uh, steps here to filter filter out the, that one because it's it doesn't affect our result, but it's not so so ugly. So I just uh, uh, filter, and I need use nil. We are a game type. Uh, of course, we uh, want we want to keep all not nil. All right? Then I can save this uh, and 
using up, upgrade because uh, it doesn't I think do not think the, the previous bug makes some wrong data so I can I think I can uh, safely just press uh, upgrade deployment then that means the the deployment itself will keep all the uh, already run s s things that's right you can see the exception disappears because the the upgraded uh, service they just rerun the, the run data again and if you, in sometimes by sometimes uh, when uh, we got real, real bugs that uh, affected the state of the of the in inside aggregation we need to uh, re re redeploy it but this one this feature is also very neat for us I think it uh, should be quite very neat for uh, all kinds of this this uh, problems because I uh, many sometimes the data just n not uh, as we expected shape all, all right this, uh, this is uh, the aggregation part uh, it's uh, it's kind of things of uh, our problems uh, major concern right now we want to use a pair class to aggregate our, our data that's why uh, we, we chose it and I'm quite happy with this but uh, <laughs> not for the visualization part. We hope they got a visualization part as strong as Kibana, but not yet. All right, I hope I already show, I just stopped this, uh, this data because I do not need the data anymore. And go back to my... Okay. And uh, so the last part is uh, it's uh, microservices. The data pro processing for a uh, pair cluster, it's actually it's not, it, it can't can do it, I think. But it's not the major target market for a uh, pair cluster itself. Uh, also for, for us, our problem, after checked into the power of the pair cluster now, we uh, also want to using pair cluster itself to make some service because it's so easy and so uh, productive. We are so productive on, on this platform. We do not like to write something uh, little microservices. For example, uh, we, uh, sometimes we, we want to reverse, reward our gamers some, something. Like, likewise, if you, if you win really big, we uh, want to give you some virtual gift. Previously, we, we need to write a new service, and uh, sometimes uh, to need to ch check check something into database. But with uh, the pair class, it's possible that we uh, just make an another pipeline, and we uh, just uh, filter our previous score log, and find find out the the ones uh, meet our condition, then uh, let it uh, make the the gift it itself and the best thing is uh, we do not need to commit back to this this uh, virtual gift into another database actually because the in some terms of view the the topic of uh, the pair class it's also like looks like a database actually <laughs> and some so we can if you uh, check the uh, the documentation of the pair class. Okay, this is uh, the source code of their pair class closure client. So uh, for reading events. Uh, it's uh, pair class already supports to su subscribe, so it's kind of I think it's kind of push, so you do not need to to pull the 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 endpoint of the deployment continuously. So this this kind of things really need for, uh, for for us. We uh we did not put this into uh, production yet, but so uh, we are planning to. All right. 
that's all for my prepared material. Thank you all for, for using that. Any, any, any questions? Of course. I understand you already have, in your previous system, you already have a database of users and their logins and so on. How much of this database do you want to move to Pyrocrust? Or just keep it as it is? Uh, the question, uh, first question uh, was uh, that we, uh, we already got uh, another uh, database system. And uh, if we chose uh, fully committed into uh, Pyrocrust, uh, how, how does their relationship? I think we uh, probably we will keep both. I mean, uh, from the data point of view, the the database right now is just just a snapshot of current current one, and we are uh, the pair cluster is uh, storing every things happened on, on the on the platform. So I think we we will maybe keep both. Thank you. So uh, Firecast has all these uh, simple operations like aggregates or matching on Reddit, uh, regex. Um, but what if you want to have some more complicated code in there? What, okay. What would you do? So the, the question was, uh, it's uh, quite easy to, to do these simple kind of things. But if you have um, more complex requirement, maybe maybe some AI like that, like something. Uh, I think the. Just in this morning, uh, Microsoft Goddess, uh wrote a new blog on their uh, pureclass.io uh, that they, uh, they, they have an answer for, for this question, a very good question. That uh, they will release something named uh, roaming. That's uh, basically, it's, uh, it's just a packed uh, pair class demo, uh, small or, or offline pair class. Uh, Boot image, uh, Docker image, with you. Then uh, you can uh, just write the write the pro programs uh, as as just as before, and the, the first language they support right now is uh, of course is Clojure, and they, they are planning to to support many uh, different pro pro program language for uh, for that, and I, I do not use use it by myself right now. So the all information I got is from the, the blog itself. So I recommend that you read the, the new blog because it's just out this maybe 2 a.m. this morning. <laughs> so it's One last question. So okay. How does the pricing work? The pricing model? The pricing model, yeah. I think this term, they do not have the, the final price prices model because it's still in uh, closed beta. Uh, you can uh, you can apply it for for one uh, account, and then uh, maybe uh, later I think should be in this within this year they will decide how to to charge. Right now we we are char char charged using uh, services not 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 uh, traditional by usage or meter things because that system not yet ready yet. Um, you change your pipeline just now. To put in a new future step, how do you version control your pipeline? All those parameters that you put in on the web page, how you filter things, how you transform the data, can you version control that? So the question was uh, the pipeline, is, I changed it uh, there, and then there's no the version control to, to make sure it's, it's, it's right. Right? Uh, I, I think I, you, you, can, you can see uh, the, uh, the pair class. Itself uh, has a revision here for every uh, service, right. so I don't think it's uh, as strong as Git. <laughs> but I, I, from my point of view, it's uh, if I uh, I changed my uh, my service definition, the program itself, then uh, I always redeploy this uh, this pipeline. And it's up to to myself that uh, if I need to keep the, the old data. For my uh, our real usage, that uh, we uh, frequently abandon the, the bad data. Sometimes we just made something wrong. So we uh, the, the topic the data in the topic in the topic just wrong. Then we just drop drop that topic, make a new one.
because uh, as long as I keep the, the source, source topic over there, I, we are quite confident that the original data was there. And any com computation we can redo. Yes, that's. Uh, I I I also think that's a good question, and I think the the, the solution for that is also just like the previous question. It's this roaming. That's uh, I, I read from the, the blog that uh, they said you can uh, just use your previous workflow. Right. You can uh, t t t you need to test everything and make sure everything runs okay. Then you just run a single uh, function to to. to to deploy that your your problem a uh, program to to pure class platform. Okay. Actually, sorry, uh, maybe I just need some uh, clarification. When you were actually fixing the null pointer exception, I saw you changing or adding the filters. And as far as call, some you know there's some dynamic. The, the data is getting refreshed. Is that actually connecting to the live data at all, or is that just working through the simulation? Oh, it's, it's just was working in the simulation. Okay, so it's not actually still reading from the source. And right. So the, the question is, uh, was was that 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 we uh, when I uh, fill in here, uh, the data just from the sim simulator, just from this this five little five cat uh, event records here, and when I add this filter, because I filter nothing in this sample data, so you you saw this this five records appears again. Usually, you configure that the, the period of the data that you store and the amount of data that you store. Uh -huh. right. So <coughs> once that expire, right, the, the period expire, mm -hmm. then what happened to the data will be erased. Uh, so the question was, uh, if the the data expired. Yeah, the, the day you mentioned, let's say ten days, right? Then well, okay. ten days will expire. So you have something to download later. Okay. So the question was, uh, if if the the data in topic expired. Because we I already uh, specified our retention yes. date, I think uh, there is an open ticket in a pair class uh, that uh, you can transfer uh, the the data into a S3 bucket. But uh, the, this uh, feature I think is still open here. Right now, um, I uh, the advice I got from pair class that we I just uh, specify a <laughs> larger retention date. Right now, but I think it's quite quite easy. And actually, in the previous version version of uh, pair class, I can just uh, using a, another output task to output everything to uh, S3. Only, oh, is it only support S3 or is there other options? Before I, I think. Do, like, stream back to my server or something. Uh, back back to your server. I think you can always do that. Be because you can you can subscribe to 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 the to the topic. Okay, so uh, so I think the the uh, right now I think it's <coughs> just to S three, okay. uh, and I think they are preparing. Uh, but if you are you are a user of this, I think you can also fire some tickets uh, to to the, the guys. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>